Before getting started, let's talk a little bit about safety. For cutting your aluminum tubing, it's good to have an N95 respirator. Just protect yourself from the aluminum particulate that is generated from the cutting process. Also very important to have eye protection. The last thing you want is to get a hot piece of aluminum in your eye. Remember to be safe before you start any, any of these type of projects. Previously we cut our aluminum square tubing into the appropriate lengths and we're going to start assembling the frame. For anyone wondering the type of tubing, this is the brand that I use. You can see the dimensions. 1 20th of an inch thickness is a 96 inch length and it's one inch square to start i'm going to take our pieces that we cut to 20 inches and we want to mark decide which end we want to be the bottom but from that end we're going to mark two inches up and to make sure this is all uniform we will mark all these at the same time. I marked a line two inches from the bottom. This is going to be the start of the front of the frame. Where we mark two inches above, we want the bottom cross member to be lined up with that mark exactly. And that makes that perfectly square. The brackets that we cut out, we'll use that to fasten these points together. And this is roughly what we end up with. And now we'll make three more of these. Drill through. Now that we have the front part of the 3D printer frame assembled, We'll use the 16 inch pieces of square tubing to assemble the Y axis cross members and we'll attach those using the L shaped brackets that we made before. Now we have that in place, the brackets will fit like so. This is what we end up with, and we'll use this first one as a template. Now that makes the front part of the 3D printer's frame.